Hey, aloha, I'm Mark J. And recently we ran um, a survey, and what was even more interesting were the emails that we got off the survey as well as the results from the survey. Everyone expressed the desire uh, that 2014 be their year. They really weren't satisfied with uh, 2013, and that's what this is really about, building a huge 2014 for you. Uh, what people wanted to know was how do I set myself up for success and how do I improve? Now I love this subject so this is a training instead of the big lifestyle shots we do I'm gonna do my favorite thing right here is some training and it's a way to thank you so many of you have shared our blog and told people about the free skills at the world's laziest networker we really appreciate that so we wanted to give you something right now because you need this right now so let's get a couple of things straight Leads don't build leaders, and there's no magic system out there that's going to build your network marketing business. If you have that microwave mentality and you think there's some magical lead system or something you can learn in two days in a hotel with 4,000 or 8,000 people that's going to build your business, then don't watch any more of this, okay? However, there is a system, and I'm going to share that with you in this short training uh, that altered permanently our career and made network marketing easy but let me get the money thing out of the way in case you think that there's a system for sale here there isn't um, this is actually free material uh, it was free to me and we're simply passing it on so what is this system what's well, actually called the success system that never fails and it's a derivative of thinking grow rich if you're not familiar with thinking grow rich uh, the real drive behind Think and Grow Rich was actually a guy by the name of W. Clement Stone. Even though Hill wrote the book, he was never really rich nor famous to the level that he got to until he met Stone, and Stone personally trained me. And together they put together a book called The Success System That Never Fails. You know, there's an old saying, and this is the big application out of the book, is that people don't plan to fail, they simply fail to plan. And organized planning is the key element. And I'm gonna walk you through this step by step so that you have more time and you have more money in 2013. Having the money without the time is really pointless. I think everybody would agree with that. So I wanna get you both of these in 2014, but that starts today, right now. It's really important. So let's go to work. And how do we do that? Well, the first thing that you have to understand is the difference between an objective, okay, the objective, a strategy, and tactics. Most people don't know the difference between these three, so let's really define them for you. An objective is what we want. The strategy is the plan to get it, and the tactics are the things that we do on a daily basis to deploy the strategy so that we can obtain the objective. So in our case, or your case, you want to build a big 2014. That's the objective. The strategy is your MLM, okay? That's really important, and you have to improve. This has to be your strategy. If you don't improve, uh, then 2014 can't be any better. So you want to improve and crush the fourth quarter. You've got to crush the fourth quarter because what you do in the fourth quarter is really going to determine or set the tone for the year. And I'm going to get into a little more detail about that because it's really important. And then the tactics are exactly what to do step by step. Okay, and I'm going to walk you through that step by step. And this is so easy, it's free, and it'll blow your mind at how effective it is. But we want to execute these step by step tactics to deploy the strategy so you can obtain your objective. Pretty simple. And how do we actually do that? Well, so it all starts with organized planning. I noticed that in December and also August, by the way, you can use the same strategy at that time of the year too, but I noticed that things slowed down in December and the whole industry bought into it. And of course, your inexperienced people are going to talk to prospects in, in November and they're going to see, see me after the holidays, see me after the holidays, see me after the holidays. It's the same excuse over and over and over again. So the collective consciousness 
caves in your entire distributor force and they figure they'll go back to work in January and of course we know that by the end of January it's still like mm, pulling teeth to get people to go back to work and I started to think about this you know Twain said common sense isn't so common and the harsh reality is and let me give you social proof there's never a time of year when people are more aware of how little time and how little money they have what are we offering people time and money so I said this doesn't make any sense so I made an effort to go to work in November to set my team up for success in December and we had a record recruiting month and we duplicated that uh, record setting pace year after year after year. Why? Because the same amount of people come to the table but they're easier to close. Let me say that again. The same amount of people come to the table but they're easier to close and this turns in to a huge 90 day advantage. Let me tell you what actually happens, okay? Here we are in October, right here. Here's November, here's December, right? And here's January, right? And we're gonna add February out here. What happens to people that don't know what you just learned and you, and just look into your heart. Isn't it true that every December you wish you had more time and money? What are we offering people more time and money? So this is a great time to recruit. You're still going to get about 25 to 35 percent of the people to come to the table, but you'll close 90 percent of them because they have surrendered to the fact that it's not going to change if they don't make a change. Our closing ratio in December off the charts. So what happens, you're going to set this strategy in motion now. What's going to happen to everybody that you're in competition with and other companies in your own company, their distributors are going to quit around the 15th. Okay, About the 15th of October, about a week before Thanksgiving, they'll come back to work to clean some stuff up the first week in December. They will shut down because they listen to prospects. Listen to me. Never let a prospect or a distributor determine the growth of your business. This is a bonanza month because everybody's short on these two things. So what happens to everybody else? Their teams effectively shut down on the 15th of November. They do nothing in December. You try to get them back to the table in January and it's usually the first Saturday seminar that they come back to work. Do you know what this is? This is 90 days. 90 days. What does that mean? Every year you want to lose 90 days or every year you want to gain a 90 day advantage. What's really cool is everybody else in network marketing has quit right here. This is a huge advantage. This also happens in the summer. So the strategy I'm going to share with you next, you want to figure to put it in play in May so that in June you have momentum and it carries right through July and August. By the way, the best recruiting month I ever had was August and no, it wasn't coming off a national convention. Why? Same strategy. So you use that strategy twice a year. See, the business has two fundamental components, the mindset and the skills. Let's face it, if we're going to make some money, we need to talk to people and talking to people about our business is a skill. Remember this, there are no secrets and if you learn what I'm going to share with you in the next 10 minutes or so, all those bottom feeders who prey on lazy, they prey on the lazy people, they prey on the fearful people, but mostly they pay, prey on the inexperienced people. They'll never infect your groups again and suck money out of them for systems and leads that don't work. It's all about skills. You know, two people with the same motivation, company, and pay plan. Why is one cashing huge checks and the other one's not cashing any checks at all? It's simple. It's skills. If we're going to make some money, we need to learn some skills. And all successful people in all ventures identify the money-making areas that earn them income. And guess what they do? They learn the skills in those areas. While the losers in all businesses, whether it's beauty shops, restaurants, or network marketing, you know, they're fixing the wrong things. You've got to identify the money-making areas, and you've got to get the skills in those money-making areas. This is so simple, you'll never have to do another pep talk again because you're going to give them the only proven formula for authentic success. So let me walk you through this. There's a few simple steps and it's actually going to help you get better too. So step one, okay, step one is meet with your people. Meet the peeps, okay. 
meet the peeps all right and what do you want to do with that meeting okay well you can meet with them or you can view this video with them or you can take the information and share it as if you discovered it it really doesn't matter but let them know that 2014 is our year and to make it our year you're going to focus on their goals you've discovered a remarkable strategy that's what you want to share with them and again it's fine just to shoot them this blog but tell them that it's fun it's fast and it's proven who proved it well, Napoleon Hill and the 504 richest people, Thinking Grow Rich has created more wealth for anybody across the globe than any other document combined. I mean, literally millions of millionaires have been created, and it certainly had that effect in our life. And step two is really simple, okay? Step two is, me, is uh, explain December. What I just explained to you, and how do you do that? You give them social proof. I mean, it's really that simple. Okay, you explain to them that they have their own social proof. I mean, really, ask them how their Decembers are. Do they wish they had more time and more money? And that we need to crush December, we need to improve our skills and mindsets together. So that's step two. Now it's step three is an action step. You agree okay if you could you don't even have to spell to make a lot of money here but you agree to meet okay on the mindset remember there's two parts here there's the uh, mindset and the skills so you agree to meet once a week you can do this live which is really great if you're building locally or you can do it on a conference call because for things to get better we need to get better and you found out how to do that and one of the great ways to say this have you ever heard at a convention or an event harry sally john whatever for things to get better we have to get better for things to improve we have to improve and they're going to say yeah and say well has anybody actually told you how to do it no well this will show you how to do it so that's step three now it's step four and now we're starting to shift some of the action and these are the links okay and what we've provided you with down there is a link to a think and grow rich it's free there's no upsells or anything like that okay it's free as well as a think and grow rich workbook let them know it's just 13 steps to riches and i always say it this way and we're going to cover just one step uh, once a week on the call of the meeting their job is to read the step and to fill in the workbook now the workbooks usually take like uh, there's like three or four fill-ins there it's pretty easy okay now you're not teaching think and grow rich when you get together you're going to simply teach them r2a2 r2a2 right now i'll write that out for you this is what made stone and hill and all these people incredibly wealthy it means recognize, relate, assimilate, and apply. So you're going to ask them to recognize the winning concepts in there, relate them to network marketing in their business, assimilate them, and apply them, and they just share that. Um, this remarkable exercise of you getting together with your team and discussing this as peers. Again, you're not teaching. You don't have to know how to teach this. Just read it because you'll make some great discoveries about yourself. You're discovering things together. This will create a stunning, I mean literally a mesmerizing mindset team wide for you. Okay, so this is really important. You got these four steps here and the next, the next part in the sequence, um, and I think you see how easy this is, but the next part in the sequence is to not lose your marker. That's very important, okay? <laughs> okay, so meet around 6 p.m., okay? Uh, okay, meet around 6 p.m. and discuss, in other words, R2A2, what they learned in the reading, what they wrote in their workbook, and just compliment, discuss, and discover. Then, then, why do we meet at six? Because so we're done with this by seven. And guess what we do then? One ringy dingy, get on the phones. Now, if you're doing this by conference calls, because I used to do this a couple of nights a week, 
uh, once at my house and then once on calls on conference calls we'd all get off the conference call we'd all make calls for 90 minutes and then we'd get back on and share the results everybody knows that everybody wants to be part of something bigger and when you work on the mindset and then you take action collectively not only does it feel bigger but you know that you're doing the right thing they know that they're doing the right thing and it builds incredible momentum okay you've got the mindset now probably for the first time before the holidays a set in motion a winning pattern before they pack it in personal development and a formula in play on your team that's created millions free so the next part remember it's the mindset and the skills how do we improve the skills well you have to understand that all network marketing you know you read 87,000 different formulas and they're all bullshit um, yeah it's really simple it's a three-step plan step one we strike interest with a prospect we sort out okay and we book a follow-up at step two right this is steps right one to three at step two the prospect reviews information okay and then at step three we do our job which is to collect the decision okay what's really important is to know where this actually breaks down because that's how you actually improve the skills and we do this with what I like to call M M A C what does that stand for well you want to monitor what's happening for your teammates at each one of these steps you're gonna measure it against the team average then you're gonna figure out exactly what you need to do to help them make the adjustments so that you can control the growth of your business everybody says we can't give away what we don't have but everybody knows that we simply can't teach what we do not know so three basic skills will make you successful in network marketing remember successful people find the areas that are going to generate income and they improve the skills in those areas but you get the mindset going on your team but it's getting people the first skill is getting people to agree to look that's striking interest the second thing is sorting and getting rid of the pretenders and getting with the contenders and then booking a follow-up of course and then down at step three the is when we get the cha-ching and that's collecting decision okay so what you want to do is MMAC or monitor measure adjust and control and how do I do that well it's real simple what you do is you have your teammates just on one side of a card slash marks for the dials and then what we call caps on the other side okay and caps is simply contacts appointments presentations and sales okay so these take place up here the presentation is step two pretty simple so your skill areas are right here and right here and what I want to do is figure out how my people are doing so let me give you a simple example of MMAC okay so Harry on his card right he contacted 20 people this week but he has zero people agreeing to look then you know that you need to help Harry learn a skill that will get people looking easily at the business ready to buy and ready to join now Joanne on the other hand talked to 20 people she had 15 agree to look but she had zero show up at step two can you figure out which one of these strike interest order book a follow-up well obviously Joanne needs help here so if you know these skills right what happens is by having your people monitor what they're doing you can measure it against team averages and then you go in hands-on and teach him the skill uh, you're going to teach Harry how to strike interest rejection free so he's now getting 15 or 18 out of 20 to look and you're going to show uh, who do we use, Sally? <laughs> Joanne. We're going to show Joanne how to get uh, 12 of these people to show up so that you can help her collect decisions. Very simple MMAC, but you can't give away what you don't have. Now, how do you get these skills? Well, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> um, what we're actually going to do uh, to continue to honor you for honoring us is actually post a three-part a video series and you can get those skills 
early. That's going to start on Thursday the 17th, but you can get them a day or two early if you'll all opt in on the early release uh, list. That's only going to be up for about a week to 10 days and there'll be the documents to go with it so you don't have to write like a madman and some additional free skills because we appreciate you for spreading the word so share this with your team and get it out there below you'll find the links to think and grow rich the workbook of course they're free in the meantime again hey share this with your team unless you're not interested in a 2014 that's a game changer. Now below you'll find the links to Think and Grow Rich, that's free, and the workbook, that's free. In the meantime, share this with your team. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what else you'd like us to deliver to you through this format on the whiteboard so you can get it. And get going with that strategy and tactics so your objective, a huge 2014, is done the way that winners do it. Remember, it's not that winners do certain things, it's that they do things in a certain way. And this is how they do it. They find out where the weaknesses are in their team and they have the skills already to fix this person's problem, fix that person's problem. You get the mindset going, what do winners do? They plan their work and they work their plan. I know it's an old saying, but it's not, it's not an old saying for nothing. With organized planning and work, 2014 is yours. So let me know what you think. Peace be the journey. And again, namaste. We thank you so much for being involved with the world's laziest networker and spreading the word. Peace be the journey.